Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's still early in the season, but a lot can be learned from early matchups in conference play. Time to take you out to the Pac-12. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Adjust your TV set. Welcome to the blue turf of Bronco Stadium. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Hawaii is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He's to the 20, across the 30, and the kicker comes in to make the tackle. The Broncos offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throwing left, and it's incomplete. Boise State still riding high after that record-setting performance a week ago, but. He better get back to work, get his feet back on the ground. Those awards are great, but uh, the old saying is you can't rest on your laurels. He's got to get back to work here. Ewing to punt. Collier builds it to 31, and he just got stood up right there. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Gets it out quickly. He's taken down at the 42. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 42. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down at the 30. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. And it's caught, and he 
is brought down quickly. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Play action here. He's going to scramble. He's going to take off. And they make the stop at the one-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. First down. First and goal here inside the five-yard line. They're packed in tight on the line. made around the four-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. So he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 61-yard drive. And they put up seven points. So our score, 7 nothing. Stone has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Myron fields it at the three. At the 30. And he's tackled at the 44. Hawaii's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far. Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Second and 10, ball on the 44. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Quick pass, and down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And he throws it away. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. the catch and gets out of bounds. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Man left, man left. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31. Play 56, play 56. The cavalry's coming. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. From the 15-yard line, first down. Quick 
Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a seven-play, 56-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Boise State ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Quick strike to the receiver. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. up a first down on that carry yeah a good job up front by the offensive line they picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage and he's tackled after positive yardage that'll bring up second and three So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. First and 10, ball on their own 48. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down at the 22. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Rose complete, he's hit right away. That'll bring up second and three. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He scrambled. And now he's going to run. Brought down around the one yard line. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That makes it It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Touchdown, Warriors. job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he converts the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Horned Frogs roll into today's game ranked number six in the nation. And for UTSA, they could drop their fourth in a row. The Horned Frogs are on top, 10-3.
Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. They line up to kick this one away. Parker from the six. He's tackled at the 31. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And they hit him in the backfield. This is picture-perfect defense by this corner. Great job of providing run support. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws it in a hurry. And they push him out around the 36-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up 34. Short over the middle. Tackle at the 43. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Ewing is the punter. made the 24-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Hawaii is up by a touchdown. Edwards gets a carry right side, and he has it on the corner. He goes out of bounds at the 43-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. And he just gets rid of it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. middle got his back he tackles him for a loss so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield caught over the middle not much there on the screen play
Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Hawaii is up a score. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. Maybe a yard that time on the screen. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. State's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this through the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. So at the end of the half, the Warriors lead 14-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always. To lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game, and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football. Maybe maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass. The guys up front always get the blame, but it really is a business that works hand in hand because I you can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field but the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds, but it works the other way around too. If somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop, I can't get there in time. So the, the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit, mess up the rhythm, jam the receivers maybe a little bit more. Give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you gonna do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country. Right now, time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Butler from the two gets to about the 17-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. They come out in a five wide set. Fires quickly and he's got his man and he's taken down around the 31 yard line. There's a flag First down and it looks like this one's coming back. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your man. offensive progress. First and 15 now after the penalty. Hawaii is up seven. He airs it out. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and 10. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a team seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. the corner tackle made at the 36 yard line That's good. 
First down. From the 36 yard line. First down. And they make the stop, the 31 yard line. Passes it to the middle of the field. Johnson gains about five yards on the play. That brings him second and five. Young on the handoff. He makes his way to about the 18. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18 yard line. He makes it to the 15 yard line. Up seven points. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And down he goes at about the seven-yard line. First, and first down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Over the middle to his tailback. Touchdown, Hawaii! These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Stone has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. The Warriors continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Sanders takes the give, and he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 28. Got an opening. He makes his way to about the 38. He's in trouble. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 38-yard line, second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. First down grab by the receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 45. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. To about the 43. That's good for a of two yards. That brings up second and nine. From the 43 yard line, it's second down. Catches it and he's looking for more. 
He's knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. four-yard line. It's second down. Caught open field. Caught down at about the 27-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. So at the end of three, Hawaii leads 21-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. From the 19 yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. This is the 11th play of this drive. Catches it, and that's all. Myron picks him up around seven yards with that catch. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. of the current drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the eight-yard line, second down. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. He makes the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Cardinals take the field ranked second in the nation. There was never any room to breathe in this game. The Cardinals win it 24-17. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. <laughs> Butler fields it at the two. They'll bring him down at the 24. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. This is only a one-possession game, so I think they need to regain the momentum and try to put this game out of reach. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Oh, and a huge drop by the wide out here in the fourth quarter. That makes it second and ten. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Hawaii is up by a touchdown. Swings it out there incomplete. There are five wide. 
wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle right around the 32-yard line. Jackson is waiting for the snap. Tackle. What a hit. The Broncos have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. They've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. Makes the catch and look out. Knocked out of bounds at the 49. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's tackled in the open field. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's immediately tackled. Complete for six yards, and that's good for a first down. Heads up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. The defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dive package. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From the 36-yard line, second down. tight end again and he's taken down around the 28 yard line that'll bring up third and two So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. First and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Throws to the tight end, and that ball is incomplete. This is the ninth play of this drive. They come out on an empty backfield. Next drive to the receiver. He's tackled around the 13-yard line. We were talking with the offensive coordinator this week. He told us that he has a lot of confidence in his quarterback to make good decisions. And when he feels like he has an opportunity to put the ball up, he knows the receivers that he can count on to be able to make big plays. That's another example. The receiver goes up in the traffic and makes a big play for a first down. Boise State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. We have less than a minute to go. Receiver for the touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he 
hits the PAT. Late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From the five-yard line. At the 30. He's tackled at the 40. Let's see what they can do on offense as they take possession after the return. you got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Pad protection now scrambles. He's taken off. Tackle made right around the 46-yard line. Hawaii's going to use their first time out of the half here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Passes it, and it's picked out of the sky. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 41. Throws incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. Looks to the back and can't connect. The ball just sailed on him, and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. Collier, the return man. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So it looks like four quarters wasn't enough. We're heading to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And they make the stop, the 13-yard line. First down. From the 13-yard line, it's first down. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown, Warriors! Well, this is what it's all about in college football. I score, now we'll see if you can respond. Great teams always find a way to come through. And he converts the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Cardinals were ranked 24th. Now the loss is likely to knock them out of the poll. This one was tight. Florida State prevails. They win by five. In another game, the Sooners come into today's game the fifth-ranked team in the country. And for SMU, they're in danger of losing two straight. Oklahoma has the edge 14-3. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he might want it all here and does! Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped.
his hands. Was the intended intended receiver receiver on the play. That brings that up third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Quick pass. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Folks, we're heading to overtime number two. First and ten. Ball on the 25. Mike 56. Mike 56. Let's go. <laughs> this one's going deep to the end zone. That makes it second and ten. They'll spread the field with five wide. On the throw, incomplete pass. From the 25 yard line, third down. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. That'll make it fourth and ten. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams, because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Yard line. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. That brings him second and five. Let's go. Strike to his receiver. No good. From the twenty yard line, it's third down. out to the wide and he's got the first they'll bring him down at the eight Nicholas makes the tackle at the eight yard line that makes it first and goal From the eight yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's going to try and scramble. This one is over. Exactly what they had to do here to win this football game. And they went out and did it. It's been a battle the entire game. And I don't think there's any doubt that these guys completely deserve this W. A great game here today in a tight one. Hawaii 34, Boise State 31. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? I'm absolutely shocked at the outcome of this ball game. What a huge win for this program. Hawaii came in here as huge underdogs. But you know what? 
they were not going to be intimidated one bit. Even in overtime, you could see the confidence in their eyes. They're not surprised they won this ball game. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.